Hello all. Today let's try to understand the usage of she, she in Japanese grammar. This form can be used with the plain form of adjectives, noun and verb also. Although it works similar to and in English, it is used only when you want to explain why or give reasons for something. In this way, it is similar to kara, which means because in Japanese. It is very common to end a sentence with she. Let's now look at some example conversations to understand how she can be used with adjectives. A and B, this is the conversation between the two of them. A says, Toshte itsumo kono mese de katterun desu ka? Why do you always buy from this shop? Eki kara chikai shi, yasui shi, sabi sumo i kara desu. It's close to the station, it's cheap and the service is good too. So if you notice when there are multiple reasons that you're giving for something, you can end the sentence with a kara. Eki kara chikai shi. Yasui shi, sabi sumo, i shi. I can end it just like that to say there are more reasons. Or I can also end it with sabi sumo, i kara desu. That is why I always buy from this shop because of all the reasons that I have stated. Here the adjectives chikai, yasui and i are all used in their plain form. Let's do another sample conversation. A says, Toshite Suzuki-san no koto ga suki desu ka? Why do you like Suzuki-san? B replies, Suzuki-san wa atama ga ii shi, kirei da shi, yasashii shi. And I just end it like that. I end the sentence with shi, implying there are more reasons why I like Suzuki-san. So Suzuki-san is smart, pretty and kind. These are some of the reasons why I like Suzuki-san. So if you notice, she, she is mostly used when you want to explain your view about something or explain reasons for something. Here again, adjectives atama ga ii, kirei, yasashi are all used in their plain form. Let's now see how she form can be used with noun and verb. Ima no shugoto wa daihen desu. So A is saying why his current job is tough and he is using she, she for the same. My current job is tough. I have to work overtime every day. I receive customer complaints and I don't have any friends. Kanojo ni sonna koto itte wa ikemasen. Tomodachi da shi. You can't say such things to her. She is a friend, right? Here, tomodachi is a noun and I'm using it in the plain form, which is tomodachi da. And I end it with she. There are other reasons probably why you can't be saying such things. But one of the reasons is tomodachi. She is a friend. And you just stretch the sentence like that. Tomodachi da she, which means there could be other reasons also. Let's now try to understand the difference between she and they form. Especially with adjectives, you could be wondering why you can't use they form instead of she. For example, Suzuki-san wa atama ga yokute kirei de yasashii hito desu. The same thing I can also say, Suzuki-san wa atama ga ii shi, kirei da shi, yasashii shi. So what is really the difference between she and te? After all, in both cases, you're using them to combine adjectives. So here, the difference is that, although in English, the meaning is the same. In both cases, the meaning is Suzuki-san is smart, pretty and kind. But in the case of te form, Suzuki-san wa atama ga yokute, kirei de yasashii hito desu. This answers the question, Suzuki-san wa donna hito desu ka? What kind of person is Suzuki-san? You're not really explaining anything or stating reason for anything. You're just stating her good qualities. What kind or stating her qualities, good or bad? So in which case you don't have to use she, you can just use they form. Also, 
when you use they form there is nothing here to imply that there are more qualities but you're stating only a few among those qualities when you say suzuki san wa atama ga yokute kirei de yasashi hito des these are pretty much the qualities of suzuki san that you want to discuss there is nothing here to imply that there are more qualities which you are just leaving unsaid now let's consider suzuki san wa atama ga ii shi kirei da shi yasashi shi here this is more an answer to the question doshite suzuki san wa ninki ga arimasu ka or doshite suzuki san no koto ga suki desu ka like we did in the first slide why is suzuki san popular or why do you like suzuki san here you are trying to give reason to explain something in which case you will go for shi shi and you will say atama ga ii shi kirei da shi yasashi shi again when you are ending the sentence with shi you are implying that there are more qualities to suzuki san but you are stating only a few among them this is not true with they form let us now try to understand the difference between shi form and kara shi form and kara can mostly be interchangeably used for example in the previous slide we saw how shi form can be used to answer the question toshite suzuki san no koto ga suki desu ka and we answered the question with shi form saying suzuki san wa atama ga ii shi kirei da shi yasashi shi and so on but the same question can also be answered this way suzuki san wa atama ga yokute kirei de yasashi kara desu Suzuki san is smart and pretty and uh, that is why she is so popular or that is why everybody likes her you can use they form and end it with kara des but in some cases she form is preferable to kara form first of all kara is slightly more formal than the she form that is one difference and also she is preferable in informal sentences where you are pretty much talking to yourself or just thinking aloud or you are talking to a really close friend i consider this example he says sensei wa sanka shiro to you shi demo ryoshin wa hantai suru shi dou shiyou ka wakarimasen sensei wants me to participate my parents are against it i simply don't know what to do in cases like this instead of using the formal kara she is what is preferable that brings us to the end of this lesson If you have a question please post it in the comment section below.